Hey guys, so I'm back over here, and today it's spawning season. Hold on. Get a little bit down. All right, there you go. We're using one of these. Get these off eBay. I mean Amazon, even at the Bass Pro Shops. You know they sell these. You get the best deal on them, probably. Probably on eBay, I'd say. But yeah, we're gonna try this out and see if it works. I just tried it out and he almost had it in his face, so I'm gonna try again real quick. I'm gonna record it. Are they biting? Not really, but I see one out here, but he's not biting shit. I'm just trying different colors, but nothing yet. Uh -huh. Oh, there he is. That was a failure. Got away. Um, yeah, he just left the the hole. So, guess tried different. Tried to find another one. I guess. I mean, he's gone. Unless he took a circle and went around and went back over there, around. Cause he could have went into the deep and went back. I don't see him. Don't know how polar his glasses. But yeah, I, and I don't see him. So. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. That's for sure. Um, I don't know, man. I've been trying to catch him for, what, like almost an hour already. Come and just call it. You call it a day or go a different spot. I don't know. But, yeah. Nice place. Love you here. You know. But the fishing isn't so great. The, the pressure, I guess that's what it is. The pressure right now is big and fish are hard to get. I think there's one little guy right there sitting. I'm not sure though. But yeah, that's a rock for sure. But yeah, it's slow out here. You guys check this out. I got another one over here to the right. Chomp the jig. Let's get a release on this guy. Look at that. Ain't that a scene? Oh, yeah. Here you go. Back to the hole where he belongs. Thanks for the fight, buddy. He goes back to his spot. Let's go. Hey guys, sorry my hands are shaking. As you can see, I just caught that fish that I was going for. And it turns out somebody got hooked it. 
And we're gonna get that out for him right now. As quick as I can. I'm gonna put him back in the water right now. Get the pliers, get him out, and then do this real quick. He actually has a couple babies already that are hatchlings. I see them him guarding them. They're hiding in the bush up currently. They came out early just now, probably when I got him. So I'm gonna put him out there again because he gotta go back, but yeah, you guys can see that second there's mine there's a second line somebody got hooked him and let him go like you're not supposed to do that but i'm gonna fix it today i'm gonna get it done for him that's a decent fish like two pounds maybe i'm gonna weigh him real quick too so he's 1.45 fatty fatty female or actually this is the male i think yeah i got the hook out guys by the way yeah he's fighting he's been fighting i'm gonna put him back in the water right now There you go, he put up a battle today. Took out the hook out of his gut. He's gonna be stressing a lot from that. Hopefully he's gonna be good. But yeah guys, make sure to do that and check. Make sure the bass are good. You know, we saved his life today. He got lucky. Oh, he scared me there. There he goes, back to the hole. We saved another bass today. He would have been dead if I would have not caught him right there. That hook would have started rust. I'll show you guys it right now. So the hook is, uh, it was somewhere out here. So here's the line. No. What the? Give me a second. Anyways, I think I lost it somehow. It was a tiny hook, really small, easily to take out. You take pliers, you stick it in the gut of where it's stuck, and then you you can't pull it pull it at the beginning. And then you just twist it and it comes out. It's simple as that. And you save the lives of a bass. And I don't know where the hook went. I would show you guys. But I don't know where I threw it. That's a good question. Anyways, it's simple as that. And you save bass. So I'd recommend it. If you got a bass, it's not the end of the world. Even if it's 14 inches like this one. Just take it out. As long as the hook is out, it's not going to rust. It's not going to kill the bass. That's all that matters. So yeah, guys. Let's keep fishing. Here you guys can see them. Right there, they're peering up. Oh, where'd they go? They're to the left right there. They're peered up in there. Right there. Pair of bass and they're just swimming around guarding nests. They're about to be locked on. That's how you know, right there. Here he comes. Here. All right, guys, we're gonna show you guys real quick how to do this. Try to catch one. So, what I got is I kind of screwed this up. I'm gonna take it off right now. So, this shad jig right here is all you need. A little bit of sparkly on it. I'm gonna fix the tail real quick. All you need. Definitely don't want to do this. Definitely do not want to do this. Because this will this will piss them off. They will get mad from this, but it's a bad idea because you're ruining their nest. That's the only worst thing about it. 
that's why usually people use like soft plastics but these fish are small so they can't really eat soft plastic which is why i'm throwing this little shad dart the smallest thing you can find here. Anyways. Hey guys, got another one, uh, another beast, chomp the thing, let's go, that's a beast, we're gonna get measurements on him real quick. Hey guys, so he's pulling two pounder, 1.78. That's a beast, if you ask me. That's gonna be a nice male. I've seen the female too over there, so that's gonna be nice. Actually, you know what? This might be the female. I'm not sure. I think this is the male. But yeah, that's a fatty. Alright, guys, let's get a release on this guy. Hey guys, so I'm walking to the other side of the pond and I wanted to explain what I just did. So I was walking down on the side, I'm pretty much side fishing to find the bass. And so what I did was, I seen two of them rubbing. And I was like, oh yeah, he's gonna bite for sure. I cast, he starts looking at it, kind of thinking about it. I cast like three more maybe, he, keep, he kept going in circles around it. And then finally when the female was there, I threw it, bam, slammed it. At first I thought it was a female, but then if you think about it, the other one was most likely a female, because the males always hit it first, if they're rubbing. So yeah, if you guys see a two, two bass rubbing, you already know, cast at them, and slowly retrieve it, and they will hit, hit it. promise you that, they will hit it, and that's like, that's it pretty much. Make sure you set the hook, you know. Make sure you use uh, matters about the pond and what kind of fish it has. But this, these little ponds that I fish, they they like smaller stuff. So I throw really small stuff, like little shad jigs and stuff. And yeah, he hit it. I found another one right here. I'm gonna go try to get him. I'll see you guys then. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and let me know in the comments section below, and you already know, thank you so much for the support, I appreciate all you guys, and yeah guys, God bless you all, take care.